This video gives a few uh, examples, three examples actually, of using the use substitution rules that, uh, that I had in the previous video. And so if you want to pause right now and just take a look at these rules, if you haven't seen the previous video, you can go ahead and take a look at them quick. And then let's go ahead and use these rules in order to solve these next three problems. Okay, the first problem here is the integral of two times the quantity one plus two x raised to the fourth dx. All right, so now using our first rule, we wanna make sure that we understand what our, uh, our patterns of derivatives of polynomials and trig functions are. And if you look, and we, if we look at the derivative of two, uh, one plus two x, we get two. And we notice that we do have a two on the outside. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna allow u to be one plus two x, the inside function. Then we're gonna take the derivative of u with respect to x, which is equal to two. From here, we can go ahead and rewrite du as du is equal to two times dx. Okay, now we have a good, uh, a good substitution plan. Wherever we see one plus two x, we're gonna put a u. Wherever we see two dx, we're gonna put du. So now this becomes the integral two dx, this is du. 1 plus 2x is u, and so this is going to be u to the fourth du, which is going to give us 1 fifth u to the fifth. Okay, now going back and resubstituting our, u, uh, uh, our x uh, function back in for u, that gives us 1 fifth times 1 plus 2x, the quantity, raised to the fifth power. And that's it. That's really all it has to be. The problem here is, and, and very often with beginning and calculus students, is that recognition. Or even worse, as we'll see uh, in the third problem here, is, is actually making it look like you want it to, and the techniques you, uh, that are involved with that. Once you get the hang of it, it's not that bad, but you, you have to allow yourself the time to do it. And, uh, the homework surrounding this particular thing sometimes will cause uh, Calc students to fall just a titch behind. It's not bad. Just keep plugging away at it. You'll be fine. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and look at that inner, in this particular example, that inner function, and say, is there anything on the outside whose derivative, or who is the derivative of this inner function? If we take the derivative of x squared, we get 2x. Oh, there's a 2x right there. Okay, well, in that case, let's look at that and let u equal 9 minus x squared. In that case, then du is equal to the derivative of u, which is negative 2x, times dx. And you'll notice I skipped a, a slight step in here. I did not explicitly state that I'm taking the derivative with respect to x. It's assumed. You, you, you identify this particular substitution function, and then you just go ahead and run it according to taking the derivative according to the variable you're substituting for. In this case, it's x. I'm substituting for x, and therefore it's dx. Now, wherever I see a 9 minus x squared, I put a u. So now I have the integral of the square root of u. And wherever I see a negative 2 x dx, I go ahead and put du in its place. And I have one there, and so I have du. Now, this is going to be equal to the integral of u raised to the 1 half du, which is equal to u raised to the 3 halves all over 3 halves. This is going to be 2 thirds times u which is actually 9 minus x squared raised to the 3 halves. And there's the problem. The end. It's not that, it's not really too bad. Just take some time to get used to it. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at this third option here. Now, this one poses a slight issue. Because in this problem, we notice that, oh, if I take the derivative of what's inside, I get 3x squared. 
that's pretty close. I mean, that looks like x squared, but the problem is it has a 3 in front. So let's go ahead and see how we can deal with that. Again, first things first. We go ahead and make our u substitution if we say that u is equal to that whole inner function. x cubed minus 4, then du is equal to the derivative with respect to x, which is 3x squared dx. And now we simply start looking. Well, we notice I have my, my u. That's fine. I got that right here. But I don't have a 3 with my x squared. Now, keep this in mind. If it, is an, if, if it is a variable, you can't perform this particular little trick. However, if it's not a variable, it's just a constant value, then what we can do is we can add that constant in. If you remember, and I'll just kind of make a little note down here. If you remember, and you take a constant times some function dx, you can pull that constant out and then integrate the function. Okay, that's uh, that's one of the rules that we're going to use. But what we're going to do is we are not we're not only going to multiply that function in, so we have to put a three in there. We're going to take it out as well. But this is almost identical to working with fractions, honestly. Remember, you're making something look different. So if you multiply, you must also divide. So what we're going to do is we are going to multiply by 3 on the inside. But we are going to divide by 3 on the outside. Or multiply by 1 third on the outside. Either way you want to look at it. You're dividing by 3, multiplying by 1 third, same thing. Here, we can put a constant in because we can always pull constants out according to that rule. So if I multiply inside by 3, I must multiply the outside by 1 third. Now, when I go to make my substitution, I have 3x squared and a dx. This becomes my du. So when I, as I rewrite this, what I'm going to have is I'm going to have 1 third times the integral. And now I have my u substitution being u to the fourth times du, because my du now becomes that 3x squared dx. The one third out front and the three inside made that possible. Now this is going to be one third times the integral of u to the fourth, which is u to the fifth divided by five, which is then going to give us one fifteenth u to the fifth. Now we just simply take that substitution and we put it right back in there. And this gives us 1 15th times the quantity x cubed minus 4 all raised to the fifth power. Not too shabby. Don't forget these little techniques. You'll, you'll see them a lot. This, this is a very simple but very effective way of working with integrals.